guys i know it has been a while um yeah about that um 2020 tried to take the kid out so um i originally planned for this mm, i originally planned for this video to be more of um a sit down video you know you know the vibes but um yeah i just got ready real quick because i'm about to go hang out with my family and so i was like let me just do um a video really quickly just to kind of fill you guys in um i don't know if i've said this before but one thing about me i'm a very emotional person so when things happen to me i feel them very deeply whether it's like i don't really know if i like my makeup whether it's like good whether it's bad like my emotions are just very intense intense so when i say i'm emotional that's what i mean and I know you'd be like, y'all probably like, girl, it's always something with you. It is. It is. And I wish I could tell you guys what it really be with me so you could really understand. Like, I don't be getting ghosts for nothing. Um, but, you know, I respect people's privacy because I'm not the only person that be involved. But when I say it be some stuff with me, it be some stuff with me. If I was like a drama channel, a little messy channel, I could tell y'all more about that. But I don't do that. So, right after I posted the video about, um, I think it was happiness or something. Whatever the last video I posted. That's when things for me personally started to like kind of go downhill. Um, I posted that video in April, I think. And in May, I know for sure one of the bad points was like mid-June. If you don't know, I work um, in healthcare. So during this whole pandemic, when a lot of people were um, being able to work from home, I was, I am an essential worker. So in the midst of this pandemic, I'm still working. This is my first year at that job. So I have been working basically from January to June without any days off besides like the few holidays that may have been in there. So working in a pandemic, um, not having a break and this was also around the time of when George Floyd got killed and a lot of protests were going on and when a time when being I mean it's always hard being black but you know if you black you know the vibes during that time it was just real heavy piled on with everything I already listed I had just became very overwhelmed I f took a few days off of work I think I took like a Thursday and Friday off of work and I got a hotel room from Friday to Sunday for myself. And I felt rejuvenated. Like, I felt good. Um, after that, just giving myself that break, that time to reset was really important. And I was on the right track. And then August came. And August was probably one of the hardest months I've ever experienced, maybe in my life. In August, a lot of things, I started to, um, how do I say this? Um the entanglement that I was in um, dissolved um, and that was kind of dramatic, a little traumatic as well. Family things, health things, work things. At work, I was basically being bullied by somebody old enough to be my mama. Still low-key am, but again, that's another story for another day. All in all, I just um, became very, very, very overwhelmed. And it was a lot at one time. I think if those things would have been happening separately at different times, I probably would have been able to handle it better. But because it was all at once and I just felt like I could not catch a break, the kid was down bad. Like, maybe this month is probably the first month where I feel not even fully back to myself. I Well, I do feel pretty much back to myself. Um, I'm still kind of sad about certain things. Um still handling certain things i am trying to find a therapist right now i've done a good job of healing on my own um in the past few years and growing on my own but i definitely think it's time that um i get a professional's help so that i can continue to grow and continue to heal because i think now um the issues that i have internally are like too big for me to handle so that's why i've been mia you no know, i really pride myself on being as authentic as I possibly can be and I think that's why so many people rock with me because I'm on I'm the same person on camera as I am off camera I cannot be a source of entertainment for somebody else I, I hate to say entertainment like I'm a clown but a source of entertainment whatever you want to call it for somebody else when I myself am not it yeah 
But I mean, now I'm feeling okay. And also, I tell you all the time, YouTube is a lot. And it's free work. So, Mom. Mom, you still think going on, um, as far as my little, you know what's really funny? In my very first dating as a millennial video, I talked about how, like, oh, you know, any relationship or any interaction I've had with men has been fine, like, it ended well. I spoke too soon. Because the things that ensued after that video, oh, child. But if you are going through some type of like breakup, let me just tell y'all what made me feel compelled to take a step back. For me, I'm never, when I go into dating situations, I never go in with hesitations. I don't feel like you can love, not to say I'm going in thinking I'm gonna fall in love, but I don't think you can really love or learn somebody if you're going in with hesitations and reservations. So no matter what I've seen in the past, I always go in very open and willing and so in this past situation as things transpired and you tried to move forward i found myself being hesitant i found myself being scared and for me i know that that's not conducive to healthy relationship with a man well i date men but i mean a healthy romantic relationship for me me being hesitant me being scared is not a a good sign for me it's not a good feeling for me i don't feel like my romantic partner is somebody i should be hesitant around it's not somebody i should be scared of so when i started to have those feelings i had to take a step back and it's very hard because you, when you care about somebody so much it's really hard to try to cut that off but i also know i cannot um be a good partner if I have these feelings towards you. So just make sure you take the time to, um, you know, really heal and get yourself in order before trying to add to somebody else. I just but. wanted to come and update you guys. You know, and through the, the past couple months, social media has been very triggering. So I did like disable my social media and I might do it again. I'm not sure yet. Cause I, I don't know how comfortable I feel with posting. Cause again, certain things are just so triggering for me, but I do miss posting, I do miss interacting, but I come first, my healing comes first, and I'm not gonna jeopardize that for YouTube, social media, anybody. You know, I feel like I said before, it's better for me to take the time now than trying to force something that's just not there. Yeah, I appreciate everybody who's been like encouraging me to get back posting and everybody who's um, still supportive of my, um, inconsistent ass you're appreciated but you know just you just gotta keep keep rocking with the kid because you never know when i'm gonna post like you probably didn't expect me to post this but look here we are but slowly but surely i'm getting back into the swing of things um trying to get a handle on things i'm currently trying to go back to school i think i've been talking about that for a while but i'm really serious this time classes start in january so yes i'm currently trying to find a new job and um I'm currently focused on one, finding a new job, two, going to school, three, getting myself in order mentally and emotionally. Um, those are my three biggest priorities right now. And I think with those three priorities, I don't have much time for anything else. I don't have much energy to put into anything else or anyone else. So I'm still here. You can, If you really want to see what I be doing, follow me on Twitter. I be real active on the Twitter, but Instagram, not so much. Like, low-key, we wanted to delete Instagram. But, um, now I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm rambling at this point. But I did just want to make a quick video and let you guys know I'm still here. Um, and also just to let you guys know, like, I know it's been a really tough year for everybody. And I pray that you are taking the time to do what's best for you and taking the time to heal and cope as best you see fit. Um... You know, do what do what works for you. Do what's best for you. But as long as you're um, honoring yourself first before anything. But, yeah, I feel like I'm rambling at this point. That's it. Um, I'm already late. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.